Now don't get scared. This project isn't as big as it looks. Actually, the room was completely finished. The beds were made, the upholstery was in, uh, everything was done. And then I looked around the room and something was missing. And I thought, well, if I paint the ceiling a beautiful color, the room will be done. And I usually do paint my ceiling some sort of complementary color to the walls and the woodwork. And the walls in this room are Nimbus Cloud. These are all Martha Stewart colors mixed in Glidden paints at the Home Depot. And because the upholstery has a very pretty blue in it and the sheets were bought to kind of match the upholstery, I decided to match it with Stratosphere, another beautiful blue color. And to lie in bed and look up at a blue sky, a blue ceiling, uh, I think it will be really the finishing touch. Run a strip of painter's tape, which is a low tack tape, along the top of the wall where it meets the ceiling. Rip off a few pieces ahead of time so that you have them handy. Then use more tape to tape a sheet of lightweight plastic along the top so it hangs down protecting your walls. You can get these plastic drop cloths at the Home Depot. Also cover the furniture with plastic. Cover any vents with painter's tape. For the floor, use a canvas drop cloth which isn't as slippery as plastic. Then you're ready to get started. I have decanted the paint into a, a reusable plastic container. This is from the deli. I must have bought some potato salad or something. So that's uh, easy to hold. A wide angle brush. This is a very nice brush. And you want it cut on an angle like that because then you can get right in the corner of the ceiling. So that's the next step. For the ceiling itself, I'm gonna use a roller. But I'm using a quarter inch soft flat roller. This is good for flat walls, good for flat paint. Um, if you were going to do a little bit more textury kind of paint, a thicker coat, you would use uh, something like a half inch or a three quarter inch roller like this. And the nice paint tray, which I will use for the ceiling. So the brush, start in the corner, and because the tape is there, you don't have to worry about getting it on the wall and do a very neat cut in with the paint right into the corner and get that. I would go oh, at least the width of the brush all the way around the perimeter of the ceiling. Now I'm going to apply some paint with my roller. Get a lot of paint off your roller. You don't want too much paint to start with. That's what these little indentations, these little raised um, chevrons are on the bottom of the paint tray. There's no drips, nothing. And then start, don't start right in the corners. Start here. And because this is duo paint, you only need one coat. So it includes the primer and the finish coat. So there, I think it's gonna look superb. I'm using this really great Martha Stewart paint at the Home Depot, you can transform your space simply, easily, and in a very short time. Enjoy.